So far, so good. My name is Shruti Joshi. My name is Pema Williams. Hi, my name is Libby Greenlaw. My name is Carissa Lucas, and I'll be going into biomedical engineering. I'd like to be on a pre-med track in college. I think I'm going to study biology in college. I'm looking to study computer science. Um, we're going to be measuring like barometric pressure, altitude, temperature, um, GPS coordinates. Different weather um, set measures and the amount of force that would be exerted upon the CubeSat. So there's there's something about just um, being in a science project like this, sort of the real world engagement and real project that raises it to a whole new level. There are so many things that go into a launch and so many moving parts and learning how to navigate all of them and be, you know, just being a part of it has been such an opportunity to learn so much about aerospace and rockets in general. Right. As long as we meet all of our technical requirements, and Mother Nature seems to be fortunately working with us and opening a window up just in time for launch. This is carbon dioxide, which is simulating our oxidizer for the cold vortex. And why choose Maine when you you know, could have joined the flocks headed south. Great question. Uh, we, we chose Maine because of the weather, as you can tell with the snow. No, it's checking. We're choosing Maine because of the opportunity to launch into polar orbits. Maine is the only state on the eastern seaboard that allows us access to polar orbits, uh, unobstructed by people or property. These are the analog cameras. They're like drone cameras built into the side of the rocket. Those are working, and they're working well. Yes! Did you say it closed? I heard closed. Excellent. Yeah, it works. It, the kill switch it works. It. We are going to uh, fill with 50 pounds, and then we're going to heat it up. Well, it's launch day, January 15th, 2021. And uh, this is it, the moment we've all been working for. We're getting commercials for Grammarly, so I think the internet is good. If we should know by about 2.30 or not, whether or not uh, the, the clouds open up, if they do, we're good to go. If not, we're going to have to postpone till next week. I mean, of course there was all that excitement built up to really see what could happen. 
When they postponed the launch, I was definitely disappointed, but that's how the scientific process is. I'm excited for the new launch date. I'm sure it'll go well. We were all super excited, but you know, it, what's gotta happen, what's gotta happen. So hopefully on the day that it actually goes up, it will be a beautiful day and it will look just amazing.